Hello and welcome back to the next episode of Factorio. We are doing the last part of the tutorial now. This is where things get really interesting. It took me quite a few goes to do this level and the reason why is because you get introduced to a lot of new technology here and it doesn't give you too much of an idea on how to set up um, your actual array of machines. Um, so what do we need to start off by doing? We need to start off by building a pump and we're going to be building a factory as well. We've got all the materials from the previous level. So I want to set up three of these. I know what I'm doing here. And about five of those, which is just what we have enough resources for. Uh, what did that stretch? Our stone supply that stretched. Okay, that's fine. As long as we know, we can adapt. Um, so we want to put the pump in the water at the edge there. And then we want to put... Uh, we have to wait for these to craft, actually. These things right here, the boilers in a row... Uh, next to them. And I might have made a little bit of a mistake here building so many so quick. Um, you have to kind of manage your resources and expand your system. I'm kind of rebuilding the one that I had before. Uh, but once you've done that, you put... Oh, wrong key. That one there. And uh, this produces electricity. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to let me craft it yet. No, it won't. Um, but we're going to start building um, some transfer line. What are they called? Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Let's just do what it wants us to first. It wants us to put the fuel in the boiler, which we'll gladly do. And that's going to show us some ways that we can actually set up boilers just in a row like that. You can divide up the pipes, and so each of these produce electricity. And as it said there, it's most efficient when you can give it 100 degrees heat from the water. So build an electric mining drill is the next thing to do. There's one right there. That's going to run off electricity. And we can now build the electric poles, which is what I wanted to build a moment ago. Pylons, that's what they're called. <laughs> that's the actual name for them. Okay, let's just grab loads of wood so we have plenty for later. And we want to build ourselves some of those. We need quite a few, so I'll build most of them now. Oh, hello, they're here. <laughs> This is also where the aliens become quite annoying. Um, at this part of the game, with it being in development, I'm not sure what their plan are for, uh, plan, uh, what their plans are for the aliens. But at the moment, they just tend to come every so often, very predictable. It just gets more and more each time, and it can become quite annoying. Um, so hopefully, they'll make more of a challenge with that. But this game is still in development. Um, so what we want to do is grab this, and let me just think for a second. How did I have it before? Gonna put one there, one there, and then if we need more, we'll put them down here and have a conveyor belt in the middle. Okay, now we need to get power to it, so yep, it's getting dark. We can put an electric pole there and we can link them together and have another one over here. Like that. Okay, now we need to uh, send all of this up to the boilers. And uh, what was our current objective? Is that the bit where it says build the radars. No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> you get to this point where it tells you, okay, now you do everything else, basically. Uh, but we're not quite there just yet. Anyway, we're going to send all of this out this way. And then up there, in line with that. Oh, not close enough. Okay, and up here we are going to need five inserters, that's correct, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to put another two of those on the list as well to be done, and these inserters, they will run <laughs> here we go, they'll run from the electricity from the electric poles, so oh, we've only got four of these in a row, okay, I thought we had five it's not a problem take that <laughs> rotate that around, so now we're going to bring up our resources up here and make a little loop again and we will actually plan this. I'm probably going to move this in a bit because we want to have five of those boilers. That worked well for me last time. Let's send this guy like that. Now we've got ourselves a good little loop. And that'll just back up over time. That's fine how it is like that. Uh, then what we want to do is put a couple of these going down. Oh, we've only got one. That's why that disappeared. Um, I should get some lights as well. I don't mind playing in the dark, but watching this on YouTube is probably annoying when the screen starts going a bit dingy. Okay, so we'll put one of those just there. Uh, we also need to power all of these, so if we put it just there, it's going to connect to the main bit there. It highlights what it connects to, basically. You can see it's connecting to all of these, and now they are all putting the coal into the boiler. 
Um, so we want to put another one of these down here. We've actually got room for two of those, so I'll get another one as well. And then we're going to put these onto a second conveyor belt. It's going to start just there. Actually, I think it's going to start there, that's right. So notice how it connects to that, but it's not actually pulling out the coal from that side. Uh, so we're going to... Oh, here they are again. Oh, that's not good. We need to produce ourselves an iron armour. That's really important. Oh. And some more ammunition as well. Okay, and we're probably going to need some more coal at some point, but let's get... Actually, let's not get these powered just yet. Oh yeah, I need to get closer, that's the message. Right, so now that we've got our coal and our power for our electricity sorted out, we want to grab some of this iron and some of the copper down here as well. I'm going to build the same setup that I did before. Um, so let's start off by placing two of these over here. One and two. Need to get closer. And then a conveyor belt as well. And uh, <laughs> we're going to need some more of these. Lots of them. Some furnaces. Actually, we're going to need to set up one of these at the top. I'm a little worried about my resources now getting a bit stretched because I've kind of built this uh, to be expansive and big from the beginning because I know uh, what it is I want to build in total. So let's just wait for that to finish building. We're going to plop it down up here with a chest. Okay, there it goes. Right, we can now build the submachine gun as well. I'm going to hold off that for a minute because of the resources. Probably went a bit over the top here. Um, yeah. But let's see if we can do this. Right. Put that there. Kill him. <laughs> and there we go. That's running. And we could do the same thing with the iron for now. Um, just get it running, I guess. Uh, but what we want to do is set up an array of furnaces again. So that's why we've gone for stone over here. And if you give us two, that'll be enough to uh, get us up and running. There we go, let's build two of those. And we are going to need one, two, three, four of those, and lots of that again. And our resources are getting a bit stretched, <laughs> but I think it'll be all right. So we want to bring that out to about here, and that gives us enough space to start this process, where we go like that, and then like that. And at the bottom there we're going to put some chests, we've got just enough for that. And in between we'll put our furnaces. Might as well put the third one down, we're going to build about five or six of these in a row. And we want to bring all of that iron over this way. And then have it turn onto this conveyor belt, just there. And surprise surprise we're going to have another little loop like that. Okay, now we need to get power all the way over here to the iron. And also to these bits here, let's not forget about them. Uh, we can't do all four at the same time really. These furnaces sit right in the middle. So we'll have to have one there and there. Kill him. Let's extend this over here. Try and space them out as much as possible. Okay, we're really going to need that submachine gun soon. In fact, I think I'll craft that now. Uh, we're actually running, running a bit risk. Of, bleh, running a bit of risk at the moment. No, I can't. Oh, I need to get closer. There we go. Okay, all three of those are now running. So we are now sending coal and iron into these two, and off they go. So now we're going to get iron plates. I think we've just scraped it there. We almost run out of those materials. Um, I'm going to get myself some more clips. Put them onto my submachine gun, press Q to change over to that and now we're going to be prepared to defend ourselves as well but now we're getting a steady stream of iron and coal in this is good, we can just control click those out of the chest like that we could even put a belt at the back here which is what I've done before but I find just walking along control clicking the resources out of the chest is sufficient um, all of this coal will probably run out eventually as well as we build more of this array here which is what we're going to do next and then we're going to bring the copper from down below oh you can zoom out like this by the way <laughs> have a look at that it's a big world uh, not really explored it I just stayed in this area when I played this last okay so what are we going to need more furnaces means more stone oh kill those guys and that's that's more than enough right there 
So, we've started off big, so I think we're going to build another three of these. Oh. And what does that mean? We want about six of those, so we're going to need... We're going to need some copper, actually, to build those. Okay, so we need to start on that quicker than I expected. This also needs copper. That's interesting. Um, I think what we're going to have to do is a little bit of manual labour <laughs> at the moment. Just carry these up from a chest. Um, there it is down there. And we're going to have two of these, so one there and one there. And now I need to find some trees. Here they are. Just enough for a chest for now. Okay. There it is. Oh, we need power as well. Oh, we've got plenty of these. And we should actually go check out the power, because uh, I haven't shown you that yet. I think I could have actually spaced them out a little bit further. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be getting some copper ore now. We'll bring that up. Uh, let's install... Okay, yeah, we can do... Okay, this is the sort of end of the tutorial bit now. It says, use raiders to scan the territory. This basically means... We have to build a couple of these and they'll scan everything and they use electricity and we can build gun turrets to defend ourselves as well. Um, but it takes a long while to build up to that bit. And I think we just need to put in some more lighting around here as well. That'll do. Okay, um, let's take some of this. Uh, actually, no, I don't really need that. I <laughs> don't know why I did that. Uh, but this one needs it. Okay, something's happened here. It looks like it's backed up at the top. And it's done it again. Okay, and now it's flowing again. So that's why that happened. That was unfortunate I didn't notice that, actually. Um, but now we're going to put some of that copper, which I didn't even pick up. I was going to show you the energy as well. So let's just grab some copper, and then I'll show you the electricity. Let's put that in there. So we're going to get plenty of that now. Okay, so you can see the performance... It's not doing too great. Uh, the available performance, it could be better, it's saying. So let's have a look at each of these. They've all got enough. Yeah, they've all got enough in each. Now, the last time I did this, I think I had five or six, so perhaps that's why it's not getting the best performance it could. But everything's running, so no need to panic or anything at the moment. Uh, let's build a load of those. Grab some of the copper as well. And now we can expand this further, so I'm going to pick up all of this, just so we can remove that. And... Here we go, aliens. <laughs> we're going to expand it all the way along here. Now I need to build more of those. Let's just... Oh, damn it. Okay, my ammo is also getting low. Is that working? No, it's not, because there's way too much iron. Okay, let's just get things rotating. I think we're going to need another one of these for coal. Oh, we are not doing good. I haven't balanced this out too well. This is actually the reason that I um, played this level a couple of times and then I've sort of gone a bit over the top this time uh, with this setup. I should have started off with probably just three of these and maybe a smaller array here, but oh well, <laughs> we'll, we'll do fine I'm sure. Okay, so there it is. Put that there, it's been powered. Now we're going to be producing more coal, so more of it will... Do you know what? It hasn't It hasn't actually uh, stopped going around. It's bugged out when it gets to that bit there again. And the last time I did this, I had a gap in between. So it's possible that perhaps there's a bug when they go around a corner like that and they get backed up. But now we've got lots of coal coming down here. Let's increase the output from our array here and add a few more of these, like so. And then put in our stone furnaces. Oh, that one's not even being used, but we can always increase this. And now we're going to need more chests. Let's get some more wood quickly. Oh, I just remembered that I need to produce more of those. They were clips, by the way, in case you didn't see. Okay, looking good. Right, so we can produce... How many of those did I just make? One. Let's make a few more. Uh, we're going to need some power as well across the middle here. Like that. Now everything is powered and running. Place down these chests. 
and now what you're going to see is all of this here in the middle is going to go down at a uh, faster rate and when that happens it means you can send more supplies in because your array is dealing with all of the materials but let's grab all of these things that have been cooking up over time and get ourselves some clips go back down here get some more of that plenty of that there and we're going to put that in this one at the end okay so I think I'm going to take a break here and just take a moment to uh, get some more of these materials that we're producing at the moment gathered up and then we can uh, increase the size of the operation that we have here okay I've now got this thing up and running <laughs> at the moment it feels like we have way too much coal in this system here uh, this isn't really as good as the one I had before I kind of laid things out a little bit differently and the way that the materials flowed in was really nice uh, but here it keeps getting backed up and that's just because of the amount of coal that's coming through so I keep having to pick that up and I think that means what we need to do is make this bit here bigger because this was a lot bigger when I done it last time um, so we have two steam engines I want to build another one of those and what we want to do let's see how many more of these can we fit on one two three so we're going to make that one bigger than I had it before one two three of those and we're going to basically have to take everything offline for a moment which can be a bit risky uh, but these things are all filled up with the coal that I've been picking from over there why, the, why is that not opening oh it's because I've got nope am I doing something wrong <laughs> okay I'm not I'm not sure what it is but I can't oh I'm clicking on the wrong thing <laughs> so the coal up there all of that's full up so that it doesn't matter if uh, not a lot of this comes through for a while I think that's actually why it's all going round onto this side over here but one of the things we could do to manage uh, which is not what I've been doing a lot of here is just remove one of these or maybe even two of them like that and now less of this is going to go through so every time that two of those come through it's only going to move through one and then we you know, control the amount of coal that's going into this. Look at it though, it's ridiculous, it's backing everything up. Um, I didn't pick everything up for a moment then. Okay, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Let's see if we can get this flow under control whilst also expanding the amount of electricity we have, that we have. So we're going to take everything offline for a moment and then build another three of these, then put it back online. Uh, but this time we're going to have four of them in a row. Three in a row worked really well, I'm not sure if four will. I need to be closer, I've walked into the pole, there we go and now we need fuel in these which we have plenty of there we go and then we want more of these, uh, what are they called again, inserters, that's right like that and so now pretty much everything that comes around should be getting put into here although they're all full up with coal at the moment so that might not happen uh, but the flow looks good over here, it looks very good getting backed up a little bit maybe we should have had one more on the end I had it done just right last time uh, when it came round to the end here there was usually just a few things getting put back round but you can always control this as well you could take some of these offline so let's say we're done with iron production for the moment they're now offline and we're going to naturally focus on copper because the amount of copper that's coming through uh, but what we need to do now is do the end game or the end level stuff for this one and build ourselves some radars we've got plenty of materials for that so I'm going to build oh I'm getting attacked I think I'm going to build four of them and uh, see how we do like that so I'm just going to come around here and pick up all my materials again got lots in here and then take a look at what else we can build right I'm going to build absolutely tons of these so I'm going to need a lot of them now I'm going to build some guns for defense there we go, 50, that'll do. We're going to build two of these and then we're going to start placing down our raiders. Now they tend to target the raiders the mobs do as well. Or the aliens, whatever you want to call them. Right, so if we take a look at these, and that one's not even getting any power. There you go, some of that. The electricity is higher than I got it last time, that's great to see. Although last time I had three of these. Um, so they're going to scan the sectors really quickly, we've got 50 of those to do. And the reason they're getting so much electricity is because I've got four of these and seven of these. So, I don't know, there's probably some science behind it as the maximum amount of boilers that you could have or how many of those affect the performance of the steam engines behind them. But they all have the same performance rating 
and available performance as well which is interesting so I don't know how exactly we're going to maximise that but having four of those is enough to power two radars oh they're attacking them get away attack me instead <laughs> oh they destroyed one okay well this is why we have those guns oh god let's place oh okay we placed one there uh, let's place down the other one as well see how they do with three need to get closer and this is another thing that annoys me is that it'd be really nice if you could just walk where the buildings are just walk over them anyway because you keep getting caught up in your own look I can't even walk through there in your own buildings and getting stuck uh, but they all have full electricity now so all I've got to do now is build some guns we're going to put one here and one over there and wow look at my uh, flow of coal it's ridiculous I think we just need to take one of these offline you know let's just remove that <laughs> well I spent all that time building uh, a really nice setup that I was hoping to rebuild and I did mess this one up I had it really nice before just the right amount of coal going in and other materials as well but there you go I've still got a lot to learn about this game um, so what we do now is we take that ammunition that we got and put it in there. Let's produce some more as well. Grab some more from our chests. I'm getting a bit annoyed having to walk around everywhere again. Actually, it looks like we're going to have to bring the iron back online. It'll be interesting to see what happens to our uh, radars as well when they go back online. Oh, here comes some more. And I can't show you the gun in action because I didn't get to load it up in time. Okay, so these are now getting less electricity. Would have been interesting to see if when I put this back online uh, that happened. To tell you what, we're not going to need any copper anymore. We just need iron for ammunition. So this is going to go offline like that. That will save us some electricity in the system. And yeah, so now what I'm going to do, there, the backup to full, um, is just wait it out and I'll be back with you when we get closer to all of these sectors being scanned. Okay, we are almost done scanning all of the sectors. We've got eight more to go, and I've now got this all kind of running really well. Um, I had a lot of coal backed up up here because I put tons in these ones. In fact, I think these ones over here have still got loads in them. Yep, 57. Um, so slowly they all went down, and this started needing more coal, so I built more of these to feed into it, and that fed more coal round into here, so I put another bit of iron. And that's just the kind of management side of things, but I've got a nice flow going on here. As more iron comes through, more of these are going to get used, and then the coal is going to go down as well, so we've got a nice balance. Uh, but also, when that boiler up the top there is finished using all of the coal that it has, uh, which has been on 57 for quite some time, so I'm not sure if perhaps... Let's get rid of that. All of the water that's going through is hot enough already, so there's no need for this to actually do anything. I'm not sure why it stays like that. Um, but yeah, this is going to eat up more coal, and then we're going to have a nice steady flow into this bit. And yeah, this is pretty much the game right there. We've just got a couple more sectors to go. There we go, all 50 sectors have been scanned. And that is the end of this tutorial, and I hope you've enjoyed these two videos that I put out on this game. I'm going to continue playing it and learning more about it. And so when I see the feedback from these two videos, I'll... Uh, I'll take into account what you have to say and I'll probably be making a series on this game because I really like it, it's really fun and uh, an interesting game to play. So if you're interested in playing it yourself, you can get a link to the website in the description box where you can download the demo and it is an indie game so if you like the game be sure to buy a proper copy and back the developers. Um, so that is it for this episode, thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.